Mark Michelle, beginning Monday, Engine 2 stationed here at 3rd and Kiowi will be browned out based on daily staffing levels. The apparatus may or may not be available to respond to emergency calls, and that has union leaders outraged. This afternoon, they tell me that because the station's central location, Engine 2 was the busiest apparatus in the entire city last year, making more than 2,900 emergency runs, and union leaders fear this isn't is just the first step to shutting down the house altogether. Recently, Dayton City Manager Tim Reardon unveiled a 37-point plan aimed at slashing the city's budget to deal with dwindling revenue. Tops on that list was a potential closure of one or more stations. Union leaders say with Engine 2 brownouts beginning Monday, a large chunk of the city, including St. Anne's Hill, the Oregon District, Twin Towers, Linden Heights, South Park, and Old North Dayton will all be without an apparatus and in jeopardy because it will take longer for crews to respond from other parts of the city. The brownouts we've had in previous um, instances have been at a place where there was another fire apparatus in the station. We're at the point now where if the city takes a fire apparatus out of service, that firehouse will be closed. So there will be no fire apparatus able to respond. Now, union leaders say since 2000, they've had a 40%, they've been reduced by 40%, and that is why today they are calling on cuts from the city, starting with managers and mm -hmm. mid-managers. This afternoon, we contacted city officials looking for comment, but did not hear back. Reporting live in Dayton, Megan O'Rourke, 2 News on your side.